Well, well, it's that time again, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the next episode of TT Burger Let's Plays. I'm Tony, aka TT Burger Eight, and joining me once again is Kara, aka Griffin Puff. Hello, Kara. Um, yeah, we're doing Resident Evil Two Let's Play today. We're gonna be doing a Let's Play of uh, of, of of the scenarios Leon A and Claire B. I mean, I know I know people, I know Capcom, and people say Claire and Claire and Leon B are the canon storyline, but I don't give I don't give a shit. To me, Leon A and Claire B are canon, so like that for reasons. And we start a new game here. We're gonna start off with Leon A, and then we'll do Claire B and stuff. So we broke up into parts like before. But let's get started. We're gonna play on easy because I suck at the normal mode. So let's go. Resident Evil Two. Two. And I forgot to turn the auto aim on. I'll have to do that <laughs> when we get to uh, the actual game. This game was also released on the Nintendo 64 as well, a bizarre and also the GameCom, PC, Dreamcast, and also it was also on the GameCube, but the GameCube version was considered the worst. It had no graphical changes or anything. It was a kind of waste of money, and I almost got sucked into it as well. toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. Playing this in the PS2, it doesn't run the greatest in the PS2, I'll tell you that much. I mean, it has some, some hiccups here when you play in the PS2. Just a little recap of cap of what happened in the last game. Which, if you did, if you did almost game out the first one, you, it, it, would, it would make you want to have the first one so you can see what exactly happened instead of a little recap and stuff. And here we have what we Leon here? Kennedy. I mean, a little talk about the N64 version. I was impressed that they were able to get the FMV, the CG cutscenes, into the cartridge, but the, it was compressed down because of uh, because of, because of, uh, of how much room of the cartridge and stuff. But I was still impressed because like a for, like a fortune went into went into, went into the Resident Evil 2 N64 version. Why do you bite me? Why do you bite me? I'll drive away in my in my flaming truck. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and when I first saw that body on the ground that Leon was looking at, I thought that was Rebecca Chambers and Chris Redfield's story. One thing myself, yes. no, it's not. That's not. Because we all know Re Rebecca escaped and stuff with Barry, Jill, and Chris. What was that? <laughs> oh no! Zombie! Uh -oh. All right, that's far enough. Don't move. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> shoot, shoot, fire away, shoot, shoot, fire away. That was a clean hit. Fire, 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 fire. Hello here. Wait! Claire, there now oh. that's Claire Redfield, the 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 younger sister of Chris, who actually Can't came in to Raccoon to City to look for her brother. And the virus outbreak, this place was two months after uh, the first game, and the virus outbreak spread throughout Raccoon City. There. <laughs> Get in. Buckle up. Okay. Buckle up, yeah. Yeah, just take the cop car. <laughs> And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great. It's huh? actually funny that even in <laughs> Japan, they keep they kept the English voice setting with just Claire Japanese Red subtitles. I came to find my brother Chris. When I first heard that the Kekon was a Japanese company, I thought, is there a Japanese version where it has Japanese voices? And I figured, oh, it's kept it like the way it is. Okay. Only really the first one had Japanese voices, but they were so bad that that that, that they just didn't bother to put them in the There's final product. Better take it with you. 
There's gun inside. Oh, that's... And now we have a zombie inside, and yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. For the car, yeah. And if it was Clary and Leon B, the car wouldn't turn around and stuff. It would just... It just wouldn't turn around like how it did. You okay? Still in one piece. Still in one piece, that's right. You can tell he's turned into a zombie right now. Uh oh. Gas leak. The explosion. Destroyed the, the car and the truck and the and the zombie driver. Claire! Leon! We'll also be let's playing Resident Evil 3 Nevis. This is my favorite there. Resident Evil game. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. <laughs> Before we even get started, I'm gonna head on over to the options here and configuration, turn the auto aim on. I forgot to do that before we started, but I know now. Now you did now you don't you aren't, you aren't gonna really really wanna spend time trying to go after these things because you just, just aren't gonna want to. And yeah, that's the one problem with the auto aim. Just, just, just kill the ones that are in the way, and just keep going. Yeah, as you can tell, the music. I'm not really a big, a big fan of the music in, uh, in this, in this game. I mean, like, the, it doesn't have the creepy. Not the. So I also have no choice but to kill. Oh, don't do that one. There we go. Looks like, it looks like I gotta kill him after all. Yeah, I guess, usually you can just run past him, but today. They're just they're, they're just over they're just overwhelming us. Oh great! Just run, just run away. Just just run past them, which be good. Go into Kendo's gun shop here, and we go into that nice little wooden door. Can't go out, but are we free? Freeze! And Upo, it's Robert Kendo. How are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! Wait. Oh. Sorry about if the, that. If this was Claire, he would call her babe and darling and stuff. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. Lock the door. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. And we can we can we can talk to him. But you should be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. And we see we got since we're doing easy mode, we got the, we got some extra ammo <coughs> with us. Let's get some bullets here. <coughs> Excuse me. And Claire, uh, Claire and Leon's scenarios have different weapons. Right, oh. Yep. Like this was Claire's, she doesn't get a shotgun, but she gets a bow gun. And those zombies uh. defeated Robert. And, uh, but we're not gonna go into those zombies yet. There's some handgun bolts over there that, that we can use. And geez, do we have everything? Uh. Looks like we have everything. So oh. let's go and shoot them. Usually, I would say just run, but you might as well. You can get this one, because you'll, you can get the shotgun and stuff. And eh, what a sad death, I swear. Man, I can't. He's not breathing. But he left an item for us. But we're not gonna use the shotgun yet because we don't because we don't have we only have like like four bullets for it. Leon can 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 get custom parts for his weapons and stuff, but that healing he but that's for some of the weapons and stuff. I'm not gonna say what they are. Go through that great whore and run run this alleyway. Here, I usually do this when they try to approach, because that way 
This gate will open, but that way they won't be coming out, coming after you in swarms. And I, yeah, there was a, there's one more in there that's that's far back and we can't reach it. But hey, that's better than like having three of them come after you. Get some more, get some more more handgun bullets. We're doing pretty good, good on ammo. Well, this is on easy mode. <laughs> Yeah, you know when they're dead, dead when blood the comes out. The puddle of blood comes out. Yeah, after Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, would, would you want to let's play Dino Crisis? Kara? Yeah. Yeah, would you want to let's play that game after we do Resident Evil 3 Nemesis? Yeah. Yeah, have you ever heard of that game? No. It's basically like Resident Evil, but you fight dinosaurs instead. Dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. That's how I first got into survival horror, actually, was through that game. But I didn't, did not know Resident Evil had been around longer. Now, this part here. I don't, they can't reach us, I don't think, unless you keep firing the weapon. <laughs> I mean, Weird that I didn't even get to play that. I didn't play this game until 2003, so I missed out. But, I mean, Resident Evil 2, it's it's it, it's an overrated game, but it, it's still a fun game. It's better than like Resident Evil 6 and stuff, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh shit! I get... Oh, at least we got it. A little, at least it. Get through through the gate. I know that the load times are actually quicker in this one. Load times are quicker. Got some more zombies here. Oh. Oh, shoot. Don't, don't reload. Oh, back away. Don't come near any closer. Oh. Okay, oh. run. Wait, just run because that 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 dead that dead corpse they were they were over by has has an item we can get has, has an item. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got it. yeah. Oh. I know. Okay. Which item? Which, I can't. Rem uh oh, I can't remember which one which one he was. I guess I don't think it was anything important after all. Let's go in the bus. Let's go in this bus. That actually still, the doors still work in this bus, even though it's like all broken down and crashed and stuff. There's a bullet, handgun bullet. Yeah, this handgun bullet, this, I mean, the zombies seem like they're much easier to kill with the bull. And they also have a lot, a lot more variety in the zombies too, like the first one did not have any female zombies and stuff. Yeah. Of course. Of course. It's dead. Yeah, yeah, it's dead. And there's, and there's, the, the, well, that's not right here. There's no sign of life. Driver's in a slump position. He's all dead. Man, they do not <laughs> stop coming, do they? I mean, there's one thing this does improve. It does improve the challenge, somewise. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Us. Jeez. They're all in the Oh, just forget Not about just forget about them and run. Just forget about them. We're gonna run and get out of here. Once we get to the get to the get to the police station, we're just gonna stir all over. We can take two ways, but this way I usually go this way because there's zombies on the on the on on the grass. I think yeah, there's zombies on the grass. So we're just gonna take the shortcut. Just get over. Just go over here. And voila, here we are. See, look at look at that. Much easier. And going to the RPD. And we just 
take a little look around the station before we enter but before but but after that but before we do that we're gonna stop this part here and we're gonna resume in part two this is tony and Kara being back in a minute <laughs> 